Hey y'all, one quick tip. If you uh, like to listen to music in your RV or while you're camping out somewhere, um, the way I do it is I have a Bluetooth speaker. That's what it looks like. It's tiny. It's kind of heavy. It's got a lot of battery in it. And um, you can make it have an aux in. There's like a selector on there. Um, aux in for like a headphone jack input. Or I keep it on Bluetooth and have it synced with my iPhone. These things last hours. I mean, I think you get like seven or eight hours total before you have to charge it. And it only takes like two hours to charge. That's how I listen to all my music. And like I said, it's uh, synced wirelessly Bluetooth with my iPhone. So I just, it's really loud too. So anyway, yeah, if you like to listen to music, that's a great way to do it. That way you're not drawing power all day using the speaker, but then you can charge it once a day or once every couple days, depending on how much you use it. So those are cheap. Those are I, I got this one at Radio Shack on clearance for 20 bucks. They make newer ones now, probably better and they last longer, but those work great for camping. So pick one up. All right, well, I'm all showered up and ready to go out in the town. Jax is ready, too. He, uh... Oh, wait a minute. No, you're, you look like you're done for the night. You've had a few too many drinks? You good? Okay. But, um, there's one thing I wanted to show people that, uh, if you live in an RV or something that doesn't have a refrigerator or freezer capabilities, you know, you just have a cooler or, um, you know, you don't have a way to keep food cold, um, a lot of times a lot of these, uh big chain grocery stores will have uh, like a microwave seating area where you know you can go to the frozen section and you can get a cheap TV dinner for a dollar and then you can pay for it bring your receipt back to the dining area use the microwave that they have there to cook your food and then eat your food in there and enjoy free Wi-Fi and uh, years back this used to be the way that I used to eat all of my meals when I lived in cargo vans and stuff like that you know, I'm kind of high class in it now with all of my appliances in this RV, but um, I'm not quite to the point where I'm ready to walk around in public with the camera in front of me and talk to the camera looking like I'm talking to myself. So I'm not going to film any of that, but I am going to go over to that store and do what I used to do, and that's eat food in their dining area and use their microwave. If I get a chance, I will turn the camera on and try to be discreet and not look like a weirdo. Okay. So I guess um, the only reason I really showed that was just because it's kind of a flashback, you know, being in this area and having the ability to go into a store and use the microwave. Um, I used to live in a cargo van two or three years back, and um, uh, for people that watch my video that live that lifestyle, you know, they don't have a stove and an oven. Uh, they don't have a fridge and a freezer. They don't have a propane system to keep that stuff cold and cook their foods. They also don't have a sink and running water to be able to clean dishes and stuff like that. So you know, these kinds of stores where you're able to do that is really a benefit if you're living like minimalist with only a bed in the back of your van and stuff. Um, plus there's a whole bunch of pros. I mean, look, you don't have to do, you don't have to do dishes. Um, you don't have to keep food cold in a cooler. You just go in and get a different meal every time. Um, you don't have to worry about wasting propane or anything on cooking the food preparing the food, silverware, and all that stuff, you just, I mean, it's just a really simple process. At the same time, you're paying a lot more for it, you know? You're paying, I mean, yeah, I mean, I was two seventy-seven for that little TV dinner, and then the milk was a dollar, you know? Um, I live on a lot less than that, being able to cook food in bulk and keep it in my RV here, so, 
you know, just an option in case you're also considering living uh, a much simpler life than mine, but you have to be dependent on these types of chain businesses where you go. So, you know, Safeways, Fred Meyers, Albertsons, but at least you know that the opportunity is there.